This is Nina Curley reporting for WAMDA. I'm here at the Stars of Science booth at KITCOM, Qatar's IT-focused conference. I'm here with Hind Hobea. Hind, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Good. How are you enjoying KITCOM? Well, it's been great so far. I got the chance to pitch at the Tech Zone, and today I have another five-minute presentation at the Innovation Theater, so all good. Excellent. I hope, to, I hope it goes well. Um, so tell me about your product, Butterfly, that you've been developing. Well, uh, Butterfly is a heart rate monitor specifically adapted for swimmers. So there are many heart rate monitors in the market today, but none of them has a design that is compatible with the aerodynamic and the techniques of swimming. So what, I, what I've created is a casing that can be mounted on any kind uh, of swimming goggles where the, sw where the swimmer can actually measure his heart rate through the temporal artery and have the a visual feedback directly projected into the lens of his goggle. That way he can always be aware of his heart rate in real time without having to disrupt his motion or read off the heart rate number from a watch or any external device. How did you get inspired to create this? Well, I'm a swimmer myself, and I've been swimming ever since I was five. I've always had the idea of heart rate monitoring for swimming, but I've never really made it real. And when I got the chance to participate in the Stars of Science show, it's when I actually developed a prototype and decided to take it to the startup level. Tell me about that process. How did you get the support that you needed through the program to build the prototype? Well, the, proto the program is unique um, from the aspect that it has the whole setup for you to build your prototype before actually setting up a business plan. So for a couple of months, you're locked up in a lab. You have a very wide of experts that come and visit you and that also follow up with you on a daily ba basis in order for you to get through with the engineering and the design of the product. So. Uh, it's very unique because you actually get to build your product and not only talk about it and pitch about it. And so once you qualify the engineering and the design phases and your prototype is fully functional and you demo it in front of the jury, you get to the business and marketing phase where you get to develop a business plan and a marketing campaign and pitch it in order to get to the final stage of the competition where each one receives a cash award. Do you think this had special advantages for you as a hardware entrepreneur over a typical business plan competition? Well, I think it has a very per it had a very personal impact on me because even if I had pitched the idea at a normal business plan competition, I would have never taken it to the startup level because I would have never had the initiative of going to a lab and actually doing all of the hardware work in order to get to a functional prototype. So, I would say it was crucial for me as a hardware as a hardware startup uh, to go through stars of science and actually have experts helping me out and I mean kickstarting me into the hardware development world. What were your biggest challenges during that process? Well, time was the biggest challenge. I only had five weeks to build a functioning circuit and given that I'm a mechanical engineer and that I don't have much experience in electronics uh, it was very challenging to get the circuit uh, uh, prototyped. Of course, I was helped by the experts in the lab, but still most of the work had to be done by myself. So that was my biggest challenge. I see. And what's up next for you? Um, how do you plan to generate money uh, selling it? How do you plan to market it? Um... Um, so right now, I've established a startup and I'm working on developing the prototype so the one I have now is pretty big and bulky <laughs> but it proves the concept and it works and this allowed me to uh, work on it more to make it smaller and lighter and more power efficient so uh, iterating it step by step in order to get it to the market design and once I have the market design uh, I'll be able to showcase it to multinational sports manufacturers and get to a licensing agreement with them. So I filed for a U.S. patent right after the show and with the combination of the prototype and a U.S. patent I'm hoping to get a very good licensing deal where I could generate money uh, out of the royalties uh, over each product sold in the market. Are you aiming for the U.S. or also for a regional market? Well, my main target is the U.S. because it's the most health-aware population, and it's the number one population that buys health tech 
accessories. So as a first year, as a first target, the US of course, and then planning on expanding to Australia and Europe. And then I'm thinking by that time the region would be more health aware and technology aware. So I definitely want to get the product to the region. And how do you think support organizations can better support entrepreneurs like you, even outside of Stars of Science? Well, uh, I think that organizations are providing like a space and a, and a support system to the entrepreneur so he doesn't feel alone in the journey because I think that's the biggest challenge I'm facing so far. I don't have a boss to report to, I don't have like my manager who can give me direct advice so doing this alone uh, from home or from my own workshop would have been much more difficult than being set up in an incubation office where I have a whole team that is following up the process and that is making me feel that I'm not alone in the journey I'm undertaking. I see. And what advice would you give to someone who's looking at you, wanting to start something similar and not sure if they want to take that risk? What advice would you give? Well, I just want to say that I had these exact doubts all of my life. Like, I've had this idea for years, but I've never thought even about making it a prototype or turning it into a startup because I've never had the initiative. And I got very lucky to get accepted to Stars of Science. So the message I want to convey is that even if you don't get to go to Stars of Science, just start with your idea, start making it something real, because in the most unexpected situations, you can find yourself uh, CEO and owner of your own startup and making it something really cool. Very cool. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too.